All right, my friends, we just read, have you filled a bucket today? So how do you fill other people's buckets? We said a while ago before we started the book that when you fill somebody's bucket, you want it makes them feel good. What are some things that we can do to fill other people's buckets or to make them feel good? Jonathan, can you give me an example? What? I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Austin? Um, sharing toys. Sharing your toys. Okay. What could you say to them? Um, you're welcome. If they share their toys with you, you're going to say you're welcome. But how are you going to, what if they're over there and you're over here? Um, Could you maybe ask them to come and play with you? That would be a great way to fill somebody's bucket. Sometimes people feel left out or they just don't know how to ask you. Can we play together? Can we play near each other? So you can help too by asking them to come and play with you and sharing your things. Yes, ma'am. Lucy? To fill people's buckets, giving, giving somebody a flower. Giving somebody flowers. Do you know anybody that gets flowers? Uh, does your mommy get flowers? Yeah, who does she who gives her flowers? What you, what you said? Does your mommy get flowers? Yeah. Yeah, giving people flowers. Who gives her flowers? Um, Is it daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy gives her flowers? Yeah. Why do you think daddy gives her flowers? He loves her and he wants her to feel special, right? Mm -hmm. That's another way for him to say, I love you and I really care what you do for our family. Yeah. Eliza, can you think of a way that um, you could fill somebody's bucket today? I'm sorry? Just saying hi to them. When you greet somebody with a pouty face, does that make other people feel good? Yeah. <laughs> What if you greet them with this smiling face and you're like, hi! Does it make them feel good? Yeah. I love it. Does anybody else have some suggestions on how you can fill other people's buckets? Colette? You can ask them if they want to be your friend. Ask them to be your friend. Awesome! How about you, Bo? Can you think of a way to fill somebody else's bucket? Do you want me to come back to you? What about you, Ava? Can you think of a way to fill other people's buckets? Um, I was thinking, um, to fill your bucket with my dad, with my dad, fish, I gave him fish from water. Okay, when we say, you, she said that we would put, dip up fish from water. Is that what we're talking about, though? No. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about actually filling a bucket full of water or fish, are we? We're talking about when you fill somebody's bucket, that means that we make, we do or say things that make other people happy. Luke, do you have any example? Let them use our toys. Not at school right now, okay? But yeah, typically sharing your toys. Say, hey, would you like to come over and play trucks with me. I have some trucks I could share with you, right? Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, so how to fill a bucket is Can you come back to me? I forgot. Yes, I'll come back to you. Everett, can you give me an example of a way that you could fill somebody else's bucket? I can't hear you, honey. Um, saying hi to someone. Saying hi to someone. Yeah. 
Guys, it can be as simple as that. Did you remember, Lucy? Yeah. To just surprise somebody with a toy. Surprise them with a present, maybe? Who, does anybody give you a present? Mm, yeah. Who? Uh, my grandma. Grandma. It, grandma fills your bucket, right? She makes you feel really special. Even my you have grandma, the same grandma, don't you? Yeah, grandma. Yeah. Grandma made me a two Donald Dino books. Happy. Yeah, so Grandma got... Does, how did that make you feel when Grandma did that? Happy. Grandma is filling your bucket, wasn't she? She was trying to make you feel special. Laney? Mm -hmm. Sharing with your hands with somebody. Sharing what with somebody? Your hands. What'd she say? Markers. Sharing her markers. Sharing markers. Right now we're not sharing at school, but yeah, typically, um, if there wasn't COVID-19 around, we'd be doing a lot more sharing right now, wouldn't we? Yeah. All right. Um, Finn, can you think of a way to fill someone's bucket? Please, thank you for coming over. When Father Tom came and talked to us and blessed our classroom this morning, he said, you need to be thankful for all the people that are working so hard for you to be at school. And he gave you some suggestions, right? Mm -hmm. Can anybody say thank you to the lunch ladies today? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yeah, I said. I did, did you? Did anybody say thank you to the person that is taking your temperature and making sure that everyone is safe at school when you get out of the car? I did. Are you saying thank you to those people that are trying to help you? Are you saying thank you to your special teachers that are working so hard and having to share the gym? Yeah. Three teachers sharing the gym? Say thank you. It's not easy for them. They're not in their classrooms. I, at least I have a classroom here, right? That's mine. They're not even able to be in their classroom so that we can stay away from each other, right? Get a little bit more space and still learn. So say thank you, thank you to people is a great way to fill their bucket. Yes. We did a murder today. We did what? What? Last night we gave Learner presents for a surgery. Learner's having a surgery? Learner had a surgery today? Yeah. And so you wanted to fill his bucket yesterday by getting him some presents? Mm -hmm. What did you get him? A dinosaur, but every present was from people from my room. So you and your family wanted to make sure that he felt really special before he had to go to the hospital today? That is a great way to fill somebody's bucket. Have you ever thought about just writing a note or drawing a picture for somebody? Don't your moms and daddies love it when you write them notes and make yeah. them pictures? Uh -huh. Do they hang them up like on the refrigerator? Yeah. Yeah, so you fill their bucket by making them something special from you, and they filled your bucket by showing you that they really like what you do by hanging it up, right? I remember when my big kids were small like you, all the cabinet doors all over the refrigerator, they wanted to hang up their things and be proud of it. It did not make my kitchen look very pretty, but I was very proud of their work and they were they were happy. It filled their buckets that I was willing to hang up those things in the in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I make art for this one day. Making art for somebody, uh-huh. I was like covering in a pine tree and my big everywhere my friends so as you can tell you guys have so many ideas of how you can fill others buckets is it about making yourself feel good no it's not about making yourself feel good it's all about making 
those people in our lives that we care about feel good. Last time. Last, last thing. Um, and, and I made free notes for my grandma. You made notes for your grandma? Yeah, free. I bet she really loves those, doesn't she? Um, for, for just took one to for me because I didn't, the other two I didn't make. Oh, they weren't ready yet. Okay. Thank you.